This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this 17th, uh, when, uh, Thursday, 17th of August. Tiger Financial News Network, 10 a.m. market update. Dow's up 80 points at 34,846. Had a really ugly day. This is called the Chapman Wave Roman Candle that we saw yesterday in my show coming up, Tiger Technicians Hour. I'll talk a little bit more about it. Most importantly, we've had a number of these uh, inverted Roman candles, so uh, it, it is quite important on the session. We'll talk about it in terms of where, what we'll be looking for if certain levels are hit. The S&P, uh, this is going to be important because the S&P at this stage is uh, up 8 or 9 at 44.13. At quite an ugly session yesterday also, Chapman Wave Roman candle. And all the, technique, uh, all the technical indicators that I monitor are negative. I meant to mention yesterday Finally, the Dow did that crossover, the red uh, or pink nine-period moving average showed up. We've been waiting for that for some time. That confirms that the Dow is in a sell mode. That just gives it a designation of where it is. doesn't mean to say immediately it couldn't turn up or down or whatever it is. It just is that's where it is. Um, the QQQ down 18 cents at 362 doesn't look very strong at all. That goes together with the SMHs, which had a spectacular day four sessions ago, and now it's down at the 146 level. It's really struggling. These semiconductors, I think there's going to be a glut of chips at this particular point. IWM, the Russell 2000, small caps getting closer to the 200 period moving average of 184.72. is in 185.92 right now. Gold, this is going to be interesting. Why? Because gold is trying to establish some kind of a base. The, the on-balance volume is extremely negative. Uh, it's oversold. But the stochastic at 80% says there's no, no uh, sign of strength at this particular point. So what happens next is going to be important because the dollar <clears throat> did squeeze up to a leg uh, F in the Chapman Wave methodology uh, today. It's gone a little higher than yesterday, but that 200 period moving average of 103.16 is still, uh, it's right there. Now, oh, bonds, look at this. Bonds down again, yields are higher. I'll be back. We're talking about all these different aspects as soon as I return for the Tiger Technicians Hour. I've got a webinar coming up this coming Wednesday for subscribers. We'll talk more about it.